Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. I am working on a memory decks card for Phone Jones, who is <laughs> sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, she is hosting her Halloween um, memory decks card challenge, and she has recently updated her deadline. So, if you get her your your entry into her before the um, before the deadline which is now November 7th she just has to have it in her hands by November 7th and then her announce or her winner will be announced on the 8th of November so I'm gonna be working on that right now I'm just cutting up some um, cereal box so I can make my memory decks card and I'm actually in um, a few challenges and swaps. So some of them require memory decks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a few of the cards up. And if you don't know, the memory, de memory decks card just has to measure four by four. Now, I've seen some gorgeous memory decks cards here recently that are four four inches width. And then the height of the card is, gosh, whatever the design is that they, they've created. So I'm gonna try and get creative also. And <laughs> we shall see what I come up with. So I have two, um, two four by fours cut right now. Now I'm going to cut another 4x4, four four, but uh, I think I want to leave one tall, so I'm going to make one like a, a haunted house mm -hmm. kind of memory decks card, and I'm going to leave this one 4 inches also, and then I'll leave the second one tall again, so that I have a few in case I make a mistake or in case I change my mind, blah, blah, blah. and then I'm going to go from there. So I printed my sheets out again with my information for all these memory decks that I'm making. And um, I said it before, I used my um, window, well, my word and my, um, what is this, PowerPoint programs on my computer to fill out my information. So right now I just want to cut up the excess and get the white off of the um, paper. They're not perfect at all. I just want to cut them and save me some time. And I will s put this on time lapse in a minute so you don't have to hear all the nonsense going on in the background. family. Okay guys, so here we go. This is what I got put together. I have the, um, uh, what is this collection? Oh, I forgot the collection. Anyway, <laughs> it's the Spellcast chipboard. So I use Spellcast um, for my main stickers. All of these our spell cast. This is from the Target um, the Target collection, the Spritz. This is like two years old already. And I used um, just a page from Pebbles Spooky Boo. 
I used their bat um, black background with the bat um, glitter bats and I um, also used some from the spell cast um, it was mainly just the orange uh, paper and now I have none left because I used it to make like my layers of the background scenery so here's the um, spooky what is it called spooky boo paper on the back in the way background I covered most of the bats with all the all the ephemera but um, then I majority of these are chipboards from spellcast so this this the bat the lady here and the happy Halloween are all spell cast uh, the tombstones also and then this is just the um, Michael's uh, glittered spiders I got those when I went out to Michael's just recently well not recently anymore but so I'm hoping that you can see my layering here so we have the black the orange and then these are supposed to be like hills and then um, I wanted to put something in her hand because right under my hill is some of the exposed um, foam tape and so I didn't get it quite under there so I wanted to cover that up with the with the little um, fan that I created with my I did this a while ago to build my stash it was just the mini rosettes that I cut I made them into half rosettes and they became little fans uh, two of these are chipboard also from the spellcast sticker collection okay so that's what I got on top and then you can see all the layers there we go you can see all the layering in there there we go one two three layers and then you got the chipboards on top and for this one I made a pocket but I think I made it too wide and um, yeah I used that to create my tag and this came out of the Pebbles Spooky Boo collection it was one of the cut aparts the tags and I just outlined it with my sharpie I added one of those spiders again and then I also used the distressed ink Tim Holtz distressed ink um, I added some trim that I got from uh, Diane from it's uh, no from crafting with fury and she shared with me some from my birthday challenge so I used it um, then I just added my information right on the back of the tag and that way it's hidden but you can just pull it in and out so I guess I made it to Whoops, too loose, cause see, it just falls out. So now I don't know what to do with that <laughs> because it's gonna keep falling out. Mm, maybe I'll put a little bit of glue right in here just to keep it from moving around. I'm just gonna put a dab right here. Can't even see if I oh yep I did put a lot oof I just want to hold it down so that it stays yeah I put a lot in there I just want it to stay. put way too much in that pocket now I made a mistake oh my goodness and this is how I cover up the white on the paper when you start seeing white edges you just use the there we go that is better much better it's 
stays more secure. It's not falling out. All right, so that is my memory decks card for um, Phone Jones. I had um, just recently decided that I was gonna do it because she extended her deadline. I might as well. Guys, I'm very hungry now. I'm mumbling and ugh, nothing's making sense. Okay guys, here you go. This is a little tag. It wasn't a requirement, but it was a requirement that you submit the answers to the questions that um, she, that Fallon Jones had asked. If you wanted extra points, you could answer those questions. Um, really quickly, I wanted to share with you what I used to make my tag. So I used one of the, um, I don't know what this magical, I guess. This is the Michaels tag box and I got this off of D-Stash. And all I did, I covered it with some paper from Spellcast and I just glued it directly onto the tag. And then I used some of the cut aparts again from Spooky Boo or Hey Pumpkin. What is the heck? I don't remember the name of the collection. Why can't I ever remember these collections? <laughs> Spooky Boo. Okay, so these little cutouts I used from Spooky Boo. I wrote her a little note thanking her. Um, I always forget to write a note or a card or something, but now this time I just put it on the other side and used the cut part. I used one of my um, DIY, uh, you know, when I build my stash, I use my mini rosette. And then I put one of my stamps um, sentiment on top. And then I added a red um, spider from Dollar Tree from the confettis. And so that is it. I just wanted to come on here and share it with you all. I wanted to add it here into the pocket. Um, the way I wanted to do it was just put it like that and it'll cover my answers. And then it did fit, but now that I've put extra layers of paper on, it might not fit. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. All right, and then that's what it's gonna look like on the other side. So there you go. Really easy, nothing complicated. <laughs> and that is what I would send her for my entry. That's it guys, thanks for watching.